This flare is insane. Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you why I think the Canon 50mm 1.2 is the best lens you can get for sun flare. So, let's crack on. This video shouldn't actually be being made because I'm out tonight making two other videos, one of which is all about the new DJI Mini 3 Pro drone, which I'll link to up here, and the other video is where I am using for the first time the Sony 135mm 1.8 lens. But the sun is absolutely amazing at the moment. I'm with the incredible Demi, and I couldn't resist getting out the Canon 50mm 1.2 lens because these conditions here are exactly why I own this lens. We have the sun very low in the sky. We're about half an hour before sunset. We have this beautiful foreground here, which is all being lit up by the sun. And of course, we have the incredible Demi. So I couldn't resist just making this video because as I mentioned, these are the perfect conditions for this lens. And it is the sole reason why I do own this lens. Because it's not a, it's not a sharp lens. It's not particularly perfect. It doesn't have any coat on it to stop the flare, however. And that is why this this lens is just absolutely amazing. What I want to do first of all is actually take a little video. As you can see here, the flare that this lens gives is incredible. And I love flare. I think it's such a shame that these days camera manufacturers try to stop this flare from happening because I just absolutely love it. So I only have the lens for that one reason, but that reason, in my opinion, makes it entirely worth it. Okay, Demi, so I'm actually just to be looking towards the right for a second, if that's okay, please. We'll take a few safe shots. Beautiful. So you can see what I'm actually doing here. I'm positioning Demi against the dark background. That's making her pop out a little bit more. If she was against the sky, it just wouldn't work anywhere near as well. So you want to position your model or your bride and groom behind a dark background. And also I'm shooting low so that I can shoot through this foreground, which is all lit up by the sun. That's giving us a really nice foreground and the lens is doing the rest. Actually, Demi, can I just bring you forward and ask you just to sit down, please? If you could sit, yeah, just as you were before. So you're just going to lie he or sit here, but looking in that direction, please. Yeah, whatever you think is best, yeah. Funny enough, as the sun gets lower in the sky, the flare gets even more obvious, which is amazing. Yeah, that's good, Demi, there. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Just, just moving your head a little bit more around towards my hand here, Demi, if that's right, that's it, yeah. Perfect, I've got to just keep you there. Again, I'm just going to do a little bit of video so you can see what I am seeing through the viewfinder. So I'm currently at 6400 shutter speed, f1.2 ISO 100. Or just, I mean, just, just letting this side drop if that's okay. So you're just going to play with, with, with your, with this side of your hair. That's it. Yeah, good, beautiful, perfect. What we'll do just to finish off, it's going to be quite a short video, but hopefully a very exciting one. I'm going to put on the Magbox Pro 42 just to light Demi from the front a little bit. What I love about the Magbox, I've said this many times, is just how quick it is to put up as you will see here. There we go. And the light you get from this is absolutely insane. I was very lucky and honored to be one of the first photographers in the world to use this softbox. And I've not stopped using it since. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Helen. Okay, so one thing I have to do, we need to put the uh, diffuser on this, but just put it in position first. Now I can't put it really close to Demi, in this example, because I would like to, because the closer the light source, the softer the light will be, but that's also gonna block out the flare. So I'm gonna show you how I put the diffuser on. It's just literally this. Oh, I also need to go and put my trigger on. That will help. So as always, I'm using the Godox X2T trigger. I absolutely love this trigger. It's very, very reliable and allows me to control everything 
for all the speed like remotely. Perfect, okay. So we have the Magbox Pro 42 here with a Godox AD200 speed light in there, which is speed light B on my trigger. I'm gonna put that on, let's try an eight power, just see what we get. I'm in high speed sync here, so I might to go higher. So my settings is 6400 F1.2 ISO 100. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful Demi. Just looking towards that light. Just a little bit, with your head a little bit more round, Demi, that's right. So you think that's it, yeah, there. Beautiful. Yeah, really good. So we're getting the best of both worlds now, whereas the other shots were still really nice and I still might end up preferring them. We've now got beautiful light on Demi's face. Just gonna try and get a little bit more foreground lit up here. Just get a bit more of this. Good. You see that when I put the the wheat, I don't know if it's wheat, completely guessing, no idea, in front of the sun, just really adds to that flare. Really good. Just right hand down, Demi, that's right, left hand where it is. Stunning. This flare is insane. Chin a little bit lower, Demi, that's good. Just hold it there. Beautiful. Thank you very, very much, Demi, and a massive thank you to Helen for filming as well. So I'm gonna show you on the screen now my favorite photographs from this video, and hopefully you can see, well, I'm sure you'll be able to see just why I think that the Canon 50mm 1.2 is the best lens available for creating real, natural sun flare. Massive thank you to Demi again. Huge thank you to Helen. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.